Hello everyone, just wanted to introduce you to my new car, the new project, the little Mustang 2. So, we get the horse in the grill, Ford logo, we get a typical 70s sunshade, big sticker. It is a very 70s color, like that yellow and black. The rims, I get new ones at the junkyard the other day, so they'll be changed. Um, it is in, I guess, not the best looking shape. Uh, there are dings on the body, but nothing too crazy. Uh, as you can see, the rust is very minimal. It'll be totally doable by myself. Uh, there's a little dings here and there. Uh, oh, old paint, chipped, but that's not it. like that's a plastic front end, so it'll be easy to fix. It's not gonna rust. Uh, so yeah, but it is way better shape than that paint is making you believe. Like even as I said, like the bad rust is very minimal and surface. Oh, Mustang 2 Mac 1. Uh, looks great. The engine is a 302 V8. Uh, it sounds mean even though it's got a dead cylinder. And uh, I'll be rebuilding the top end of it uh, starting this weekend and stream that online. And uh, yeah, there's the little one. As you can see, the rear hatch is in terrible condition. But I got a new one to replace this one, uh, courtesy of the previous owner. So that bad, bad rust doesn't matter. It's gonna be gone. So here's the interior. It honestly looks pretty good. Uh, of course, it's vinyl seats. Uh, they're comfy, three-point uh, seat belts. Uh, E-brake, which changes from the foot pushing ones. Uh, the door panel little logo like old running horse um, they took out the radio and the speakers so i'll have to deal with that but i don't care right now because the v8 sounds amazing this is the same steering wheel that i did in my 73 mustang so it's back in familiar territory um, ac has been taken out so there's no ac in it but i'll put one back at some point i haven't checked the lights and everything i think the heat cage doesn't light that work at the moment fuel and alternator works uh, yeah so that's a very clean dash did they leave anything in the glove box yep this paper is in the back the back seat now <laughs> right now it's in hatch configuration but I can put a back row of seats. I can. It has a back row, also in very good condition, but with my big legs, you won't have much leg room if you try to sit behind me. <laughs> I put the seat all the way back. It's actually comfortable. So once the hatch is open, uh, you get pretty nice, uh, trunk space with the seats back and it makes the inside look less cluttered than to have that back row up so I may leave it like that um, even the spare tire is nicely flushed so honestly it's pretty good storage space um, the floor of the car is pretty clean so you know no rust or anything so that's, you know, a nice hatch. And now the piece of resistance, that nice V8, get a V8 back. So here's a Ford 302 cubic inch engine or 5.0 liter. Uh, right now, it's got low compression in the final little valve here, uh, based on the previous test. It's one of the valves that's bad. Um, 
when they put that engine in the car because not the original engine they did rebuild the bottom end of the engine so I guess I'm gonna learn about it and build the top end of it I'm gonna take the carb out the valve covers and the two heads out and rebuild the heads and change all the gaskets the owner was nice enough to send a brand new carburetor like this one is the one that came with the engine and from what I understand she thought it was not working when it was just a bad gasket and bought a brand new carburetor as I'm gonna rebuild the top end of the engine I'm probably just gonna put the new carburetor on it to have uh, everything clean and all get an electric fan for cooling which is way better uh, and yeah like the electronic ignition new they get like a new solenoid and yeah as it's from 71 so before all the guys crisis it is a pretty powerful little engine around 200 and 220 horsepower uh, even with a dead cylinder i just drove it to the gas station it was nice like powered by ford mm. so yeah this is uh the new little car she is a mac one yellow and black lots of fun adventures on the way